This is the second video for the three-part series on how to sell products online using AI. In this video, I'll be walking you through on how to create images using an uploaded image and copying an image using prompts. After that, we'll be editing it using Krita, an alternative to Adobe Photoshop. I highly recommend you watch the first part of the series so that you'd understand how I got that image and why we are copying it. First step, copy the image using any snipping tool. Uh, it can be the one that you have on your PCs or laptops. You copy this and then save it. Now we, we will go to Midjourney and edit this or create a, an image using this image. Now that we are in Midjourney, now if you haven't signed up to Midjourney yet, you can click on the link above this video or I recommend my friend's 80% off AI art course for beginners. He easily explains on how to start on mid journey and prompts. You can find that in the description below. Okay, now I'll be showing you two ways on how to use this image for mid journey. I already uploaded the image and went through all the steps so that I won't waste your time. To upload an image, you click on the plus sign here and then upload file. And then our objective is to create this image, the skeleton with the coffee cup. So this is my thought process. I have to do the skeleton holding a co coffee cup first because sometimes Mid Journey provides the image immediately. And then from there, we'll just go ahead and edit it. So in order to get this link, if you haven't used Mid Journey, you just click on the image and then right click and then copy link and then go back to my journey and then on the prompts you just forward slash imagine and then paste the image and then type in skeleton holding a coffee cup and then press on enter once you're done that you'll see something like this now I already did this and this this is the image that it shows so as you can see it doesn't look like the image that we have on the previous uh, the one that we have or the example that we have so what we're going to do is edit this image or create a different prompt now i created a different prompt that'll be skeleton holding a coffee cup then I added vector format and then detailed and this is what I got it looks good because it it looks cartoonish but it provided me this design and I don't feel the the images here so what I did is that I added a different format or pr prompt I added open mouth, vector format, detailed, and t-shirt design. So this is what we got. All right, we still have this one, the, the borders or the other designs, which it shouldn't have, and also the, the text. So what I did is click on uh, added the prompts, open mouth, vector format, detailed t-shirts, and then black background so it's going to be black and I use the hyphen hyphen uh, no letters so just to show just to make sure if we have that we can remove that image and it shows that we still have that now I already I recreated that and see if it's going still sh going to show and it's still showing but I used a different uh, negative uh, prompt no words it still shows like that so it seems that we're the image that we have here is still mid journey isn't allowing us to uh, remove that words but we were able to remove the background it just remains black so it seems that since we are using a reference image, then I think that Midjourney is trying to 
what you call this trying to copy still copy that image so what we are going to do is that I'm going to use a different prompt for us to remove that let's see we'll use a weight prompt and as you can see it I use the weight 5 on the coffee cup a skeleton holding a coffee cup and then a wait for this one a wait for the reference image but it shows it kind of shows that the image is kind of realistic so if you if you like this kind of image then go ahead you can use this image but for me I like more the cartoonish style so I'll use a different image for this the second way to copy that image is very simple just go ahead and for click on or type in forward slash imagine and then since we already created the prompt from the previous uh, reference image we're just going to use that but we're not going to add the reference image anymore so we'll just retain the skeleton holding a coffee cup open mouth vector format detailed t-shirt design with hyphen hyphen no text for negative prompt and this is what I got now as you can see there is no text anymore but it still has that design so we can't do anything about that we'll just have to edit it later on uh, with Krita so you keep on refreshing this until you're going uh, until you're satisfied with the image that we're going to use for Krita okay now that I already started my Krita here in order to get that image you just it's simple just click on file and then open and then look for the image that where you saved it and then click on click on that image and then automatically it will open up in Krita now I already did that on my end and this is the image I chose this image because it looks cool although it doesn't the image doesn't show that it's an open mouth but everything looks cool and it doesn't have that text and the back background so this one is very simple to edit now we'll be using the AI tool that is assigned to Krita and that would be the start GMIC QT here click on that and then the AI will scan the image and then what you need to do is just to type in foreground here so that we can extract the image that you wanted and hit hit on apply and this is what this looks like now if you haven't uh, haven't used Krita uh, you can click on the link above this video on how to edit images using Krita but to save your time is very this is very simple uh, to get this green dots here and red dot here you just click on the right uh, on your mouse right click means red left click means you're uh, you want that Im uh, image to uh, or you want that image to be retained so I already went ahead and do this so in order to remove that red image or red dot or blue uh, green dot you just use the backspace to extract this image is very simple just press on enter and it will extract that image alright so it already extracted the image as you can see here there's a new layer you just click on the eye icon and you can see that the image has been extracted so I don't see any problems with the image when you scroll up uh, there's some yeah it looks like there is some pixelated image but we'll just what we're going to do for that we'll just have to upscale that using a, a tool called gigapixel now to have the words and the border it's very easy we'll just have to save this and then we are going to add that using uh, canva so every tool that we're going to use now is uh, for free uh, for editing so we head to canva 
Okay, I already started my Canva here. Uh, this file is uh, the size is 2048 pixels to 2500 because we need to add that words here. That's why I chose this uh, canvas. So I already uploaded the image. And this is the image. You just paste it here. And then for the elements, uh, I already chose the border. And you just click on that. Now you see that the border we have here and also for the image. So for us to, since the image is kind of small, so we just scale that little okay, up. And for the image here. Now to get this uh, image, uh, let's try to scale that a little bit more. All right, to get this image, uh, our primary image to be on top you just click on this border and then send back all right there we go as you can see that the image is already at the back uh, the border is already at the back now for the words it's very simple you just click on text and then try to find the words that you you like so we're trying. What we're trying to do is uh, imitate the other image that we have. This is the image we're trying to copy. This one. No, sorry, not that one. But this one. This one. What we're trying to copy. But we're just going to. Uh, we're not going to use "staying alive." By the way, okay. So we're going to use a different words. Let's say working to death like that so technically what just gonna do is use a, a word here or font for the words uh, which one looks nice alright let's try this one oops this is for sale this one alright so this one and then you just type in the working to death Yeah. All right. A uh, little bit there. Go. All right. That that's our image. So and then, what you need to do is just click on share, and then download the image. And then, uh, what they what they do suggest is you. If you want not to have this white background here, or if you want to uh, have that background, uh, I suggest you try to search for elements here and then uh, black background. So black background. For the graphics black background put it in the back uh, backwards right there and then scale it up and there we have that image here so but I th if you don't want the white background or black background for your text if you have you can afford you can click on that uh, you can sign up to for to get the pro account for canva so that you get the transparent background but if you don't want that then that's fine you can have this image and then click on download and you have your image now that we have our image well we need to upscale this because uh, earlier we were able to see that it has pixelation all right so a little bit pixelation here pixel so we need to upscale this image. So in order to upscale this, uh, we'll be using a tool, um, either Gigapixel if you can afford it. But there's another tool that you can use to upscale this. 
and I'll be showing you in a couple of seconds here. All right, this is a vectorized um, AI. It's a tool to upscale the image. So we are upscaling this image here. And then just upload it. Uh, uh, the link is down in the description below if you want to use this. This is free. Um, unlike up uh, Gigapixel. So we are upscaling this or vectorizing it so that we don't have that pix uh, pixelated image. So there we go. As so you can see the previous image, it has pixels. Now it doesn't have one. Okay. So I'll just scale it up. Okay, this is the pixel and this one doesn't have the pixelated image. So everything looks good and then you just click on download. Once you download, then we're going to upload that in what you call this in uh, online marketplace. That's for the third video. Thank you.